Hello, YouTube friends. Time for another unboxing. Uh, Michael Kors had a really amazing sale recently, and they actually shipped this really fast. It got here within probably like, I want to say three days, four days, very fast. So I just wanted to share the actual unboxing with you. Again, I flipped this over upside down so you don't see the mailing address labels, but I have not opened this yet. I just got it. So let's see. This is a huge box. I hope the bag isn't as big as this looks. This looks huge. <laughs> By the measurements of the bag on the side, it didn't sound like it was going to be that huge. So we will see. This is a brand new bag and I don't see any reviews of it yet. So I was really interested to see it in person. Oh, they did a nice job wrapping. Some paper in here. be the underside of it because I wrap open it upside down. I was worried at first I saw the MK and I thought oh no they sent me the wrong label and sent me a logo bag. <laughs> I do not enjoy the MK logo. I don't know why. Some logos I like. I love Louis Vuitton signature canvas. Um, some of the coach canvases I like but Michael Kors is just I don't like those block letters. It annoys me. With Michael Kors, I try to get the most understated bags I can without branding all over it. That's just how I like them. Nicely wrapped. This is nice. I'll say it again. It's very sad how excited we all get when something is factory wrapped. I mean, it's new. We're paying for a new bag, but... So here it is. This is the new Chris Satchel in pebble leather. And the reason I got it is because it's in the luggage color. And I am just addicted to that color. I have it in my medium Lita. And uh, I just love it. I think it's stunning. It's less orange than the um, Coach Saddle colors. It's not that orangey. I don't know what this is. Let's see. I don't want to ever accidentally throw away something that I <laughs> need. It's like my fear. Uh, this is just some sort of wrapped cardboard. So to give some structure to it, I guess. <clears throat> and then they've got it really nicely packed. But this color, anyhow, is a little bit more of a caramel shade. It's not, it doesn't lean orange. It's very, um, I don't know, just a really nice neutral tan color, I'll say. It's just so pretty. So I try to get all the luggage colored things I can find before they phase out that color or something. You know how they always do things like that. And the other thing I was noticing about the Michael Kors site is that you really have to be careful now. He's introducing a lot of bags that are vegan leather and they just say faux. But a lot of the pebbled leather bags that I saw said faux pebble. And so you have to be careful that it says 100% leather. This one is 100% pebbled leather. And I read it several times and it said it was. And I do think that the quality of the Michael Kors pebbled leather is very nice. So this is it, you guys. I'm going to probably take this guy off because I don't like the logo. And I'll probably remove this little strap thing because I think it's so cute with the little studs. And I'll just put that directly on here. But this is the bag. Now I swore on the description it said it had a back pocket, but maybe they meant inside. And so let me get the dimensions for you of the bag according to the website. It is 12 inches wide, 10 and a half high, and 5 and a half deep. I really like this, and it has those nice um, handles that fold all the way down. So it says, uh, Chris is your new everyday carry-all, crafted from pebbled leather and finished with polished hardware. So it says it's roomy enough for a wallet, tablet, and even a change of shoes. 
So that sounds promising for what I'm going to use it for when I take it as a work bag. I just have been gravitating towards bigger bags, especially in the winter, because you can throw like a lightweight sweater in there. Let me do the measurement at the top because I'm sure this is not matching their description. The top is wider and the top is 14 and a half inches long. The base is what they measured and the base is almost 12. So that's a pretty good size bag. I like that. So you've got a zippered top. Their zippers are nice too. This is very nicely done. It's got a crossbody strap here. Take that out in a second. Let's see if they were nice and gave me a, oh, they gave me some wrapped silica gels. They're wrapping like every element of this. I know I'm gonna accidentally throw something away. Did they give me a uh, dust bag? No. I don't know why they're doing that lately. It's like they're not, I'll go through all this stuff later, but it's like they're not including the uh, dust bags anymore. And you pay a lot for these bags. So yeah, I don't see one in here. Sometimes they wrap it. So I just don't want to accidentally throw it away. They have a lot of wrap nothing in here. So I'll go through that later. I won't bore you with that part. So now the price of this bag is why I decided to give it a try because it was on sale and I think on Rakuten you also got like eight and a half percent back or eight percent back or something. So it was on sale. Then there was a VIP discount code for 20% off of the sale. So this started out at $4.98. And I ended up getting it for, I think it calculated out to almost 80% off. So it was a steal. I figure I could not lose with this deal. So here's the tag, the price, if you need to get that information. Let me see if it'll focus. There you go. 498 and it just says, uh, Chris large satchel leather in luggage. And you've got a really nice roomy center area here. See how wide that opens up? That's what I love about this. It's almost like my field tote by coach. It opens up to more of a book bag size. I love that. And then you've got a nice slip pocket here. And on this side, you've got another slip pocket and a zippered pocket and you've got the care card in there and then you can leave it open just as a regular tote or you could zip it shut which I love having that option that's great reminds me of uh, one of my Kate Spade totes so this is kind of like I would say it's a hybrid tote satchel it's kind of in between both and let's see the Yeah, I really can't whine about not, I'm sorry, I can't whine about not getting a um, dust bag because the price I got this for, it was like they basically were giving it away. And I'm not sure why, since it's one of the newest releases, I think. But here's the nice strap, nice and thick, and it has the actual strap with the holes and the little buckle. Very nice, really pretty smooth leather. And you can see that beautiful luggage color. Really pretty. So I like this bag. It's very nice. I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. It's just very basic looking. Not a lot of froofy design to it, especially once I remove this guy. It'll be very basic. And then of course I'll add a little poof or bag charm somewhere on there. But so I'll come back at a later time once I've used it to show you what it holds, but it is made really well. And that's one of the things I like about Michael Kors. I don't always love how he copies every design, but <laughs> see like the, these little edge pieces here. They don't have to do that. But that's really nice touch in the smooth leather, things like that. There's a lot of attention to detail. There are no feet, but I kind of like how it looks like a little envelope wrap styling at the bottom. Very cute. 
And these are very noisy little handles, so I'm sure it'll break in. But that is it. The new Chris satchel. This is the large size, and I believe they also have a small size, which is obviously smaller. <laughs> and they have different colorways. They had this in black and luggage when I got it, and then this one sold out really quick. So I think now they just have black. And then they had some other colorways for the smaller sizes. And I think they also had one that was the signature fabric. So, all right. Well, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time.